Welcome back, everybody. Armin Simulator 17 here on Pleasant Valley 17 V3. That's right, folks. Version 3 is out. So, this is not part uh, version 2 no more. This is version 3. Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and everything. Folks, there's quite a bit of changes and stuff. As you can see right there, there's blue markers now where you load and unload. Um, just a few changes here and there. A lot of things are different. The factory's going to have to be built on some of them. Uh, the biogas has bees on it. I don't recall having that last time. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get up here and show y'all some of the stuff by train here. I'm going to put my hood back on. And take that away. Now right here is Home Depot. And we just got all kind of different things now. There's blue markers down on the ground. You see over there, there's blue markers. What each silo is for and stuff like that. All this and then we'll go back on the Where is it? Now, so far, I've only seen one compost. I, I can't remember on the other or not. Have we done compost or not? But, yeah. Whoa. Just get by. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Load produce. Produce drop off. Foods drop off. Load foods. Load foods. And load goods. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Tried to go to the train. And, uh... Reveal my surprise. Now, folks, we're on the west side of the map. Basically, we probably won't be do too much of anything today except for explaining some of the changes. But we're on the west side over here by Roberts Farm, north of it, on Field 61, at the uh, little pond sand pit. Now, this is sand. Yeah, we know that, Mr. Blue. Well, folks, last time I didn't do sand and stuff. It looks like water out here, but... There is a little water. Uh, just a little. Yep. But, uh... As you know, I started out with, uh... 12,229,900... Or 789, excuse me. Uh, I bought the fields. I bought sheep, pigs, and cows. And I'm going to show all that to y'all. And I also bought a lot of equipment. Um, of course, we lost a lot of money on the fields because last time, you know, I worked on some of the fields, and this time I just bought them straight out. Oh, look at here. You even got the vest on. All right. Now, that's what I'm talking about. But there's a 289C Caterpillar. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, can tracks with a bigger bucket. I just hope I can... I probably won't miss a lot, but... I know the graphics ain't quite right, but we are, you see the trucks filling up, so that's a good thing. I'll probably be doing a lot of this off screen, we might get a loader, front loader put out here, but there you can see, it does say sand, and all you have to do is just kind of move it around here and there. 
that builds itself up. That works a little bit better than the other one. It is kind of slow. But at least the directions are right on it. The, the Volvo one, you go left, it goes right. You go right, it goes left. Well, we spill some on the ground. We spill some on the ground. Part of it in real life, you know. This trailer here holds a hundred thousand liters. We put this down. We'll go to the truck. I have not set a waypoint yet for this. Well, I forgot to put my ladder down. We'll just drop down. But I got the uh, Kenworth bank put it on here. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Kenworth W900. About half full. But we're going to be hauling that off next time over to the cement factory. That's right, the cement factory. Now we're going to jump around. Check this out, folks. Check this out. Mr. Blue Farms, folks, on the tractor. Now I tried the 6R and the 7R. I ain't quite figured out the the things here um, a little bit different than the AR here but folks down here I went and bought I think four discs four cultivators uh, and a lot of tractors I think I got six of these eight R's and all of them's got Mr. Blue Farms on them and uh, yeah some of them look like they're running but uh I sold all the equipment except for the trucks, and I didn't sell them for a reason. Um, I guess we'll just go around this way. Um, each truck is sitting at, a, well, except for this. One. This truck's sitting here because look at there, folks. West side of the map. Now, this is going to be a spoiler. So, spoiler alert right now folks if you don't want to know where the hidden objects are at please skip forward some if I'm fixing to show y'all the, the hidden items there are ten not nine folks there are ten hidden items uh, Dave on Dave's net said that there are nine hidden items there are ten or at least on mine okay all right, the first one, I ain't going no specific order. You go out here, you'll find this blue truck here. It's a single axle. Uh, nice truck, but you know, too small for me. So that, that's one of them. Keep going the wrong way. Now we are... Hold on. Oh, I'm going to do that in the last... But anyway, let's see if we can do it. Let's go to our other menu. I'm going to point them out on a map, okay? I just showed you this in here at the sand pit. That's one, okay? And y'all are going to play this back or whatever because I'm going to go kind of fast. The second one is up here at the uh, Allen's Farm. It's right across the main road there in the forest. And it's right here. Uh, it's going to be a fuel trailer. I'll click on them so y'all can see them. Now the first one's the SX210 Twin Star. Then you have the... Whoa. On one. You have the fuel trailer. And then we're going to go down... Way down here on field 56, just west of it, you're going to have another fuel trailer. And then we're going to go, I guess we'll start here in town, go out. Because this in here, I haven't found it yet. I was waiting to see what that would say when we find all 10 of them. 
But right here, and and the gold grass part of this, uh, well, north of field 63, you get the fertilized spreader. Uh, just we get to salt, silt, or whatever at out of this pond here. There's like two right here. There's one just south of field 10, which is wagon. Then south of the pond there, you got another wagon. Now right here inside town, you got another fertilized buggy. So it's fertilized buggy there and there. Then these two are trailers. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight. 9 and 10. Up here you have the weeder. And right here you have a uh, manure spreader. So that's your, your 9 right there. So once again right here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and right here, folks, is the number 10. It's not the truck. I just used the truck so I can show y'all. Come on. Am I in that now already? Yes. Yes, I am. Folks, number 10 is this one right here. Now, this is what they look like. They'll have something white all the way. See how that is? You, you can see it from a good distance. It'll pop up that white part. But this is a, this a loader wagon. So we'll fix and find out what it's going to say, okay? You have found a new vehicle. Okay, so nothing special. Nothing special. That's your 10 vehicles right there, folks. Your hidden vehicles or you know, this is your 10 hidden objects. But once again, you got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Don't count that. That one's nine and that one's ten. These are uh, other stuff I got sitting there. But that's your ten vehicles. Now, I need to get them off here. So uh, we're going to go to our garage and sell them. And this is what you get. You get a semi-trailer, the two uh, smaller trailers, then you get two fertilized buggies, then you get manure spreader, a weeder, and a loader wagon. And then we got our four trucks. And then you also get these two fuel trailers. And the rest of this stuff is stuff that I have purchased. So, on the cultivators, I don't see how many I got, does it? I think I bought four of those and four of this. That's odd, I don't say. One, two, three of those, a couple of Kentucky trucks, a bunch of these trailers, a water trailer, a fuel trailer, a fertilized trailer. You get the, all three of the lilies. We got a ramp, trailer, bucket, Volvo, John Deere loader. Just, we got all kind of stuff, folks. And this ain't half of it because I ain't got some of the doors open. So, crap, a lot. I was going to sell that stuff. All right, we're going to go through here. Uh, sell our extra stuff. Remember on V2, we found, what, six of them? On the SIT, did I watch David's net video? And he said there was nine. So I went ahead and went into the um, ID3 file and found their location. So I cheated 
for y'all. So for the ones that do want to see it, you know where they're at. And the ones you don't, please <laughs> hope you skip through all that. Okay, now this is all the stuff I got so far that's uh, open already. So, all right. Like I said, we got the sand pit area. And next thing I want to show y'all, y'all seen the Mr. Blue Farms on that? Folks, check it out. But well, Mr. Blue, how did you do that? There, I can't change my voice this morning. I went into the ID3 and uh, pulled up what they are, and then I downloaded a software that would let me do DDS files, whatever that stands for. But this used to be Wright Farms. Used to be Wright Farms, now it's Mr. Blue Farms. I'm just changing this, and folks, that's it. Um. Let me get this tractor right here. I wish they wouldn't smoke like that when they're off. I want to drive over here to the silo. And soulfoodqueen.net, I believe. Uh, get your fresh eggs for you. This is some fresh eggs for you, ma'am. Miss Sandra from SoFoodQueen.net, I believe. I hope I got that right. If not, it'll be down in the description if I got it wrong. Okay, these are supposed to be on automatic. And to put them on automatic, oop, wrong screen. Hit your question mark on your keyboard. Go up here, go to settings. Automatic egg picking on. I'm gonna butt this for. I'm gonna turn it on to field job reward depends on freight. Okay, that should be on. I think when it gets full, it starts picking up for you. But anyway, a um, couple of your train stations. Uh, the one here by the main farm had stuff in it. I got, uh, 79 coins to go. Hey, a pig has been born. Yay! Uh, as you can see, I got all these zeroed out. Uh, pig silo. Got, a uh, straw. And then I uh, got grass here. And there's a cow farm silo. Compost silo. Stone processing. Uh, square bales and stuff like that. Round bales. There's right farm. As you can see, there is zero. I moved everything over to cook. So this is all the stuff we have here. And all the other farms are at zero. So, yeah. Took me a little bit to do all that. But the next thing I want to show y'all, y'all probably like, uh, my map don't have this. Folks, I laid concrete down. And, uh, I did squatten, 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 flatten this out. Well, straight down through here. That way our trucks can come in this way and they can line up either to load out or to drop off. And just when they get out, they just go on. So uh, that's what's up down here. Now, I got a planter for here, but I got thinking whatever's that, you know, this farm here, Mr. Blue Farms, and Cook's Farm's going to share. Back to that. I gotta go open some doors up, folks. Let's go to Cook's Farms first. I'm just gonna teleport myself over there. I know that isn't realistic, but 
Got to do what we got to do. Okay. Well, like I said, and there's Cook Farm. Hey, Rosie. Where's Betsy? Oh, wait. That's Betsy's going in the shed. Let's go see her. Uh oh, I need to turn these guys on. Uh, hired worker. There's Betsy. And Susie. How y'all doing, ladies? Okay, no comment. No comment. They're probably mad at me. I'll show you why. Oh, no. No. Wrong map. I got all their stuff full, so I don't know why they're mad at me. So, all the animals are taken care of. I did buy 51 sheep. Or 50 sheep. I'm sorry. Bought 50 sheep for 34000 80 pigs, and it cost 74400 and 50 cows, and it cost me 134000 Coming to 242400 Um. So, yeah, that came out of the, you know, $12 million. On the fields, I ain't going to go through the price on all of them, but, you know, we already own 52 73, 63, 28, 35, 12, 14, 15. And I turned around and bought the ones that we had on PV2, which was 50, 51, 53, 34, 33, 32, 16, 25, 27, and then 19. Coming to a grand total of $2,553,600, or Excuse me, two million five hundred fifty-three thousand six hundred thirty-five dollars. And take the animals out. I had, and I don't know what the other I took out. What was that? Nine hundred ninety-five thousand. Forgot. I think it's some equipment I bought. Uh, I was going to list all the equipment prices and stuff too, but I forgot to. And uh, some of the stuff I got down, I got down to eight million four hundred thirty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty-four thousand or fifty-four dollars. Keep on saying thousand. But as you can see now, I'm down to one million nine hundred eleven and one hundred twenty-seven dollars. I was buying these tanks and stuff. Like I said, I went in ID3, took out all the silos, like uh, Mr. Kentucky Farmer did. But these babies back in places. But instead of having three this time, I just had two. So we're getting here with a truck to get the digestate. Digestate, you can take it and take it up to the fertilized place and you make fertilize. Um, sillage, you got 114,999 sillage already made out of this baby. I should have put some grass in this one. But yeah, let's, let's get our tractor going right here. And once again, if y'all are new to this map, whenever you fill your cedar up, make sure it's set on what you want to plant. Because once I fill it up with seeds, and it's set to wheat, but I want to plant soybeans. It will not change, folks. You'll have to empty it back out into this, switch it to what you want, and then refill it. So right now, I should uh, yeah, refill sower, so it's going to be R. And I, that's what I had left from plant. Uh, show y'all real quick. Already was doing some planting. You can see 63, 25, 27, 28, and 50 through 53 is already fertilized. Uh, I got a sprayer. I was spraying, well, of course, duh. But uh, to take this back to growth. Why is it not showing growth? 
Oh, I know. It's not select it right here. As you can see, 50, 51, 52, and 53 is planted and grass, folks. So that farm's not going to have a combine. And that's why I didn't take a plow or anything there. Uh, top left farm up there. You can barely see it. Uh, that's Allen's. Allen's and Evans and Roberts and Mr. Blues got a plow, a cultivator, a planter, and a, and a 84 or a 8R, which is 8400 and something, you know. Um, they will be getting a combine each, maybe two each, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. So let's go uh, get this guy planting some weed. But we don't have, we, we're going to have to start making some seeds, which I got that in progress too. Uh, fertilizer. Oh my god, I need to redo the setting on him. He's coming out way too far. I got him set on 6,000. I should set him on 5. But I figure we plant wheat down here. Since it's our cows, we'll use the wheat for the seeds for the pigs and the straw for the pigs and cows. So we got him going. I hop out. Um, so yeah, I got this tanker here for the pig slurry. And I think I got another one for the digestate. Or it might be the same trailer, I don't know. Um, you see here I'm kind of low on solage, straw, and grass, but I already got 150,000 power food. Pigs are full, only got 10, I mean cows are full, uh, but I'll, I think I got some in there. I wish this would have a, a readout of how much is in there. That would be nice. Um... All these are empty. I ain't got nothing in these yet. Uh, don't really think I need anything down here. These are just will be for the tractors and stuff like the the planter or something. If I'm down here planting. All right, we're gonna have to hurry and power through. I'm already 30 minutes in. Okay, so that's cook farm, and you saw Mr. Blue farm. Let's go down here to Johnson's farm and uh, show y'all that. Uh, let's see. One of these has the vehicle in it. Oh, guess not. Or did I put it in here? This is one of the updates here. This shed was not here on V2. There was four trees there. So that's what I was telling you about. Of course there was bunkers here. I took them out. Uh, I haven't done any of this yet so our fuel is zero. Digestate is zero over there. But I do have some here. Alright. Where's my marker? Come on. Ah, right there. O on the keypad. That is empty, but I'm going to open it anyway. So we have a Kentucky Farmer truck with uh, the AR frame. Last time, I think these hold 250,000 or 50,000. Last time I used the auger wagon. So this time I want to use this. Let me check these doors over here. Okay. All in. And we got the grasshopper here. And uh, that's pretty much the grasshopper. 
that dude and a fuel trailer. Uh, it's probably going to be all I have down here. Maybe a digest leaf trailer. Uh, we got what twenty five thousand. It's a start. I know we need money, but I'm gonna put this over into the fuel. This is the fuel one. Uh oh. That's not good. right there on that and I found it. I might have to go in find the trigger on this thing and raise it up or down. Yeah, see I can't get a trigger come up on this one. But this one here has got a trigger and I don't have no exclamation mark beside it, so I'm going to hit R. It's unloading. Of course, I can't see it. You can see right there, it's loading up. Well, just as good, this is here will make liquid digestate over here. And as you can see, it's already going up. But it's going to take a lot to fill that thing up, so. Uh, this has been fertilized once planted with fertilization and then I think I have to do it a third time. Yeah, I gotta fertilize it for the third time and it'll be done. And we'll zoom in right here. You can see field 28 is getting the second time as this one did. So it will... All these fields going to have, hey, AG Baby Girl is planting. All right. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's kind of see what all we're going to. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is up at the very top. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. And so we can see map. See, I'm up here at the very top left. I figured go ahead and buy one of these. I know we had the other things. But, uh,. This dude here just works a whole lot better. I wanted the John Deere one, but the John Deere one you can't hire. This one here you can hire out, see? J Boo just tried to run over me. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta cut some of these trees because the trees are throwing them off, so. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Because the next one I'm going to show you is right up here. This is going to be Allen's Farm. Um, probably just going to plant soybeans up here. We'll be done with it. Then we'll use the money off the soybeans to help buy us another field. We'll just... Uh, Let's see, we got the south field, so we'll just start. We'll start with 74. And then go to 76, 75, 77, 78, and 79 up there. And that whole corner there will be bought. Alright, this guy needs to go. I said, I got 63.
I guess he needs to go to the shop, but I don't think I got a course for that. I don't. So, uh, close that back and hit market. I got Allen's market, so I can do that. Right, close that out so y'all can see right there's my waypoint. First waypoint, this is going to take it to the market. And that way I can drive from the market to uh, Mr. Blue Farms and friends getting the rest of those fields. While I'm doing that. Now, Allen's farm is going to be used for two different things, folks. Farming and. For right now. Come on, open. Woodwork. I'll show you what I got. Plow. Covator. Planner, tractor. One tractor is going to do all. We might get another one as I get a little bit more money. Get another one of these up here to help out. That way we can plow, covate. Um, we got two Kentucky trucks up here. We got three of these trailers. And then, let's see, I think those are considered as A's. And that's B. The all or auto load trailers. Then we got the new Scorpion. This is the uh, version 1.2. Cuts up to 15 meter logs. But these trailers over here only support 8 meter logs. So. And this is our new low board. It's not the easy load, it's from uh, somebody else. And of course, I'm not good with names, so. But it's uh, the 80 foot with uh, extenders. Got straps on it. You lock your straps down for carrying like uh, pallets and stuff. It does not auto load. It does not auto load. But for the ones that likes to use forklifts, you can put your pallets on here, strap them down. Or you can put your vehicles on here, climb in the truck, and hit auto load. I mean, uh, not auto load. Duh. Just back up to your trailer and it automatically locks the load for you as soon as you hook it up. So you fold it for narrow transport or if you got something wide. So that's that. You already seen that. Um we're not going I don't know about storing grain up here. We'll probably just call it to Cook's Farm. I'll depend on what the prices of soybeans are at the time. But I'm talking about just planting nothing but soybeans. Ah, here's our other tractor. Y'all seen this one before? It's the prototype. Dirt's prototype. But I got attachment on the front to help with the trees. And y'all seen this before? So that's that. Won't be carrying no logs with it, but I can use this to help straighten the logs. Turn them all the same way. And uh, it will help out a lot. And I'm going to... I'm just going to power jump over. Y'all seen Allen's? Johnson's? These two... Go ahead and get this right here. I got I made the road down through here, put down gravel, and uh, I'm gonna finish making it go out this way. I haven't got my license yet, but you see, I come in with the the tree marker, and I already started marking some trees. That way, it's no guesswork. I'm gonna up there is the fertilized place. I made the road. Turn my speed on a little bit. Show y'all right here. Um, 
2,500. I already took a little bit over to the seed place. This just makes fertilizer. You put your silt down here, your liquid digestate and there. I don't know if it carries both or not. I think it's just digestate. I don't know if slurry. I can't remember, folks, if it takes slurry or not. But I know it's digestate. Oh, uh, spurs reach its point. But anyway, uh, I got it where uh, you, know, you just come in. I'm going to have a road right here. It's going to come to where these trees. That is marked. That and that is marked. So on, so on down through here like this. You can see that is marked. Uh, come right here. You're going to back down in here. Get loaded up. Put, I extended this ramp out wider so it would support this Volvo. And, uh, let's see, that's a whole lot faster right there. Um, can't remember what this holds. Blanket bucket is 20,000. But the controls are different on this thing. That part of it's same, but is this your left or right? I can't get my uh, I can't even think what it's called either. The bulldozer. I can't get my bulldozer to be purchased. Ooh, that was lucky. But anyway, I got this operation here going. I'm going to park some trees out here too. So I'm going to just take the bulldozer and keep on pushing it up to this. And I may have a ramp for the loader also, in case I get a couple people playing. Uh, but that's that. Uh, let's go to Robert's Farm real quick. Um... There's nothing in these buildings here. And over here we're going to have pretty much the same as the rest of them. I'll turn my walking speed back down. I've got tractor in here. Equipment over here. Disc, cultivator, and planter. I'm going to have a grain buggy, a combine. And probably another tractor in here and a fertilizer. Maybe another fertilizer or something, small one. I'm not for sure. So, yeah. But, uh, that's almost everything. And I'm gonna, well, I gotta stop my driver. Pull this course out. I bought this thing here. It's like 40,000 liters of fertilizer. Using that to get around, but as you can see, this is going to be our liquid fertilizer. This one's going to be our fuel. I got two flatbeds. I use the uh, Caterpillar fifth wheel because I like the uh, the dual wheels on it and stuff. And this tanker here is for the cows. I use gray. You know, you always hear people say gray water. You know, it's not drinking water, but you can use it to take showers and stuff and everything else. Well, this is what this is. That's why I painted it gray. And usually, I thought I had, well, it's going to use blue, but I use green instead of for the fertilizer. Uh, let's see, where else do I need to show y'all? Almost out of time.
we done Allen, done Roberts, the silt pond. Of course, we got another silt pond over here. Uh, we done Johnson. It's going to be just like a grass farm. Uh, AG Baby Girls planting down here. We got Bolord Gaming signed into the Lily thing. So he hired it. So, uh, we done Cook, we done Mr. Blues. Let's go do Evans and, uh, show you these fields here. All right. Those don't have nothing in it. That no bird don't have nothing in it. We just got this in here. Like I said, again, folks, you know, about pretty much the same thing. And it's got it all that. I'm going to close this and back off. And we'll go back to the map again. Let's see, I have to do it this way so I can use my arrow. 32, 33, 34, 35. If I'm not mistaken, I, I plowed, plowed all these together. Let me run out there real quick. It won't take very long. Yeah, I plowed them all together. They're all plowed together. And uh, what we're going to do is half corn, half sugar cane. And that's for our popcorn settings right here. Make some pretty good money on that. And, uh, you do corn, sugar cane water uh, there's planters peanuts right here what we're looking at um, show y'all one over here what else yeah right here this is new it's a pallet factory thing uh, you bring your board planks over that makes pat pallets uh, over here, we've got greenhouses. So, uh, oh, wrong one. I'm in my air. Let's get this. You can see right there, feed water pallets and produces raspberries. So, uh, all this stuff, there'll be pallets out to here. You have to load them up and take them to these fa factories that, uh, you know, need those things to make other things. And this here is lettuce. And, uh, you've got quite a few down through here. Like tomatoes, yep. Yep, tomatoes. Uh, over there, you can see that rusty looking pipe. That is the quarry where we get our coal, uh, stone, and a couple other things. Uh, also, I'm going to show y'all this here. There's the Cogent Force products, that's where you get your license for your, uh, this here, you'll drop logs off here, and if you got a truck under there, it'll load them wood chips. And, you know, V2, you didn't have extra storage here, but well, now you do, folks. All these are open up. So that's good. Well, the trees that I cut, see how it's got labels now? You know to put logs here. I, I think that right there was worth the update. Logs there makes wood chips. You put the wood chips in the here right here. And it'll fuel this thing. You put wood over there. It produces pl planks here and wood chips and you take these wood chips just put it back in here 
then you won't need that no more. And I'm going to produce uh, planks. Now I said I was going to make Mr. Blue's silo bigger. I want to show you one more. Two more things I think. Right here is Uptown. This looks like the Goldcrest map. Morgan's Massive Motors. But right here you got this here. For right now, only thing I can make bigger is these two. Stone processing. I'll move the other thing. Well, I already made it once. So, uh... 300,000, I can make it produce more an hour. And then this here, I want to. Said 300,000 construction costs. I just made that where it produced more planks faster. So right now, that's all I got on that. I don't know. Because, see, on, on V2, I didn't know about this right here. I knew you could buy the factories and stuff, but I didn't know it was up here in this location. As you can see right now, I have all good points. I found 21 coins so far. And each one of these things here, sheep, animals, cat, you know, all your animals give you points. Uh, purchase, license give you points. Completed missions, completed contracts. Um, coin deals, I don't know what coin deals are yet. Time played gives you so many points. I don't, well, 16 hours already. I guess what I've done played doing all this. Uh, more fields you buy. Own objects, 18. You get 18. You know, point for point on own objects. Thrashing gives you points, 46 hectares, and then got four points, so I thought it was, it said fields, I guess, object, own objects. Illegal failed trees uh, does not give you points, it takes points away. Railroad penalties, so yeah. But uh, it'll come up and say, you know, like PJ or P preserves or whatever concrete. Say so to buy, I need a rating of 20. I got a rating of 29. So, but what is that? Uh, 2.5 million. Ah, uh, it keeps disappearing. Uh, 2.5 million to buy the concrete place. I don't know if it'll come up, but you, you have to buy all, you don't have to buy, but I guess pretty much the object of the game is to buy all these factories and keep them running after you buy them. So yeah, but you just walk up there and they'll pop up. And same with this and down here. So as the, uh, oh, one other place I want to show y'all. The first factory we're going to try to build is going to be this one right here. It's the cement factory. Hey, what are you doing out here? It's private property. I guess you work here, huh? Oh, you guarding the place. Oh, okay. But uh, this is the stuff you need. You need gravel, stone, water, sand. So yeah. But he's Dave said something about to get all of these like seventy five percent before you get all of them filled up or something. Like get these three seventy five percent and then you can fill your water a hundred percent and they'll start building or something like that. 
So you got some of the factories already built that you can do, but like this in here, the concrete one, you have to get it first because the rest of the factory is going to be wanting uh, concrete. So you won't be able to build them. I think, let's, let's go to catalogs. Uh, see, catalogs is not built. Should be right over here. Chipboard, steel, drywall, boards, concrete. So see, concrete is probably the first factory you need to build, folks. And then we'll have to figure out these others. I, I ain't heard of chipboard, so. And this right here tells how much you got of which one so yeah I need to start closing these factory or closing factory but uh this is Robert Farms Robert's Farms I'm still going to do like I talked about on PV2 and I'll show y'all here on the map down here yeah. Right, right down here on the uh, bottom left. Here's Roberts. You got two farms here, and then these four fields here. I think I'm gonna buy these four fields here first, and then buy these two, and then maybe these two, and then these three, four. I think what I'm going to do is Allen's Farms is going to take these fields right here. Robert's Farms is going to take all these fields right here. And, and probably this field here too because it's connected with this highway. There's a bunch of mountains here. Cook Farm is going to take, well Mr. Blue Farm here. It was going to take all of Gogress. So Mr. Blue and Cook's going to be combined takes all Gogress. Johnson's just going to take these fields. We'll worry about these later. We might actually buy a combine or something for these here. But yeah. And Evans is going to take um, probably 36, 39, and 41 than these others over here something like that folks but this map here is going to be open to about four about three other people um so i don't know it'll be saying three people all the time but uh i just gotta get like it's 15 dollars a month 15 16 dollars a month so those three people want to split that and donate it to me. I'll put up a server. First, I need to try it first. Make sure the server will work in my area. The way my luck is. So, the first time will be on me. Uh, for the next month or two. And then after that. Uh, I'm going to try to get... Somebody help me out with them. But folks, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess next time we'll uh, we'll try to get more of these guys planting and stuff. I think I can get this tractor to plant soybeans up here. But uh, that's pretty much all I have today. I think I showed y'all everything. Um, like I said, I think the update is worth it. Uh, he's talking about doing a, He already got set soybeans good. He's talking about another update coming in a couple weeks. I probably ain't going to do it, folks. It's not supposed to be a restart. You know, like I had to restart everything on this. 
But even if I, if it's not a restart, so you get surgeons, surgeons, surgeons. Just gonna hire a worker. Oh, 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 oh. Turn that all out of hot work. These fields are square. There should be no problems. Who we got? We got Junior on the tractor. All right, Junior. But yeah, folks, uh, that's probably going to be it. Uh, I'm going to try to concentrate on fertilizer and seeds and fuel uh, while this other stuff is growing. That's why I said ne next episode is probably going to be about trees and uh, pallets and stuff like that maybe. Never know what's going to be next really with Mr. Blue. But folks, I'm over the hour so once again I want to say big thank you to each and every one of y'all for watching my videos um just the comments folks y'all blow me away on the comments I love it but also I want to say this I know a lot of people skip to the end they watch a few minutes of the beginning of the episode a few of the last few of the last of the episode which that's fine now, I do put things in the middle that y'all might need to know but that's totally up to y'all Y'all do what you want. You know, I, I care, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're watching a little bit, leaving the comments, supporting, you know, that's fine too. But main thing I want to say is I've reached my 10,000 views. I'm just waiting on that email, confirming I get my ad revenue back. And then if I do, I'm going to be a happy man. Because that money I get off my ad revenue, it's going to go back into these games, folks. And then once I start making money off YouTube, I'm going to start buying different games and stuff for y'all. First, I got to buy some computer stuff, uh, some license agreements and stuff, you know, on my software like Pimola. You know, I already bought the license for it. But my antivirus is just about out, so I'll need to get it updated. And uh, oh, there's something else I just want to tell y'all too. But anyway, but if I can get that ad revenue back and start making money, I, I'm putting all that back in here. Like I said, I got a couple of things to buy first, and then after that, I'm going to get the dedicated server, start letting some of y'all play with me and stuff. Uh, I already got the mods loaded enough where I can do the dedicated server. You gotta have uh, under 10 gigabytes, I believe. So, which is 10,000 megabytes, if I remember right. But anyway, I'm rambling on, rambling on. So, uh, we'll talk more about it in tomorrow's episode of uh, uh, West Bridge Hills. So, uh, Hopefully I got the trigger fix on, on the slurry thing on that. But anyway, thank you folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see y'all next week, okay? I mean, not next week, tomorrow. I'll see y'all next week on this episode, but I will see y'all tomorrow on another episode. Thank you. Goodbye, folks. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Alrighty. Bye.